What is happening everyone? So in today's video, we'll show you exactly how to connect your Facebook pixel or meta pixel to your system.io funnel. I know system.io makes it just a little bit too more complex than it should be, but I've been using this platform for many years and I've installed a Facebook pixel countless times. So let's go ahead and jump straight into my computer and I will show you how to do it. All right. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to actually go ahead and create a Facebook pixel. So if you don't have a pixel already, then make sure you go to business.facebook.com dot com slash settings and then what you want to do is select the data sets on the left menu facebook has switched the name of the pixels to be data sets so essentially it's just the same thing so what you need to do is just to click on add and then type in the name of the pixel and then click create so for this tutorial i've already created a demo pixel which is this one so now what we need to do is we need to select this pixel and then we need to click on open and events manager and now what we need to do just before we jump into to system.io dashboard we need to go ahead and click on settings and then what we want to do is to go ahead and copy our data set id or pixel id you go ahead and click on it and it will copy it and now let's jump to our system.io dashboard so what you need to do is to click on this profile icon and then click settings and then what you want to do is you want to click on custom domains so each time that you create a system.io account it creates automatically kind of a subdomain for you so we can use this subdomain to connect our pixel and conversion api if you do have a custom domain then make sure that you do the same thing for that specific custom domain and i do suggest having different pixels between different domains so don't use the same pixel for different websites or funnels you have this way you can keep all your data organized and clean so what you want to do is to click on the three dots from the right side and then click settings and if you will scroll down over here you will see facebook conversion api and you have have the pixel id and access token so now let's go ahead and paste the pixel id or data set id and now let's go back to the events manager and scroll down till it's going to tell us generate access token so let's go ahead and click on generate access token all right and now let's go ahead and click on it to copy it let's go back to system io and paste here the access token and hit save all right so the first part is done now we need to continue with the pixel installation so now what we need to do is to go to our funnels and we need to select our funnel now this funnel over here is designed with two simple pages just to make this tutorial simple so the first page will be a landing page squeeze page sales page whatever it will be and the second page will be a thank you page so we'll go ahead and select the first page and click edit page so as you can see it's just one of the templates of system.io and it's a super simple page what we want to do is to go ahead and grab the email address of a visitor so what we need to do on the page is to go to settings and then you scroll down till the bottom where it says tracking then you want to click on edit header code and now it will ask us to put in the facebook pixel custom code so to generate that let's go back to the events manager and click on overview and over here select the second option which is set up meta pixel so let's click on that and then click on install code manually and now simply click on copy code go back to system io and paste the code over here and click save now the last thing that we want to do is we want to select which event we want to fire on this page so let's go ahead and open up the drop down menu so we have view content purchase lead and schedule so view content is essentially on the first page so before they go to the thank you page they are just browsing the first page and they might submit our form or not so this will be view content but for the second page which is a thank you page then we're going to select a different conversion event so let's select view content and let's go ahead ahead and save changes and now we'll go back we'll select our second page which is the thank you page click on edit page again and then click on settings again scroll down till the bottom click on edit header code again and you want to paste the pixel html code again and hit save but now what we have left to do is to go ahead and select the right event so in this case i'll be selecting a lead because this is kind of a landing page or a squeeze page to get some contact information so let's go ahead and open that and select lead and essentially what it means is that every single person that will be redirected to this page means that this is an actual lead so we want to make sure that we fire the lead event and we transfer this data back to facebook and again let's go ahead and save changes and then go ahead and close this so now let's go ahead and verify that the pixel is now installed and it's firing properly so let's go ahead and paste here the link so as you can see this is a chrome extension the meta pixel helper or facebook pixel helper chrome extension so just go ahead and download 
download it it's completely free and as you can see it's firing page view over here which is exactly what we want now before we finish up this video i want to show you another method to get more accurate data from your funnel back to facebook and to do so what we need to do is to go back to the events manager and let's go ahead and click continue over here continue and go to pixel overview and now what we want to do is to go to settings again and we want to scroll down until it says open event setup tool so this is essentially lets you also track events based on your browser so let me show you what i mean if you click on open events setup tool it will ask you to type in your website or funnel url so let's go ahead and grab the thank you page url over here click copy and then paste it over here and then click open website now make sure you do this step after you install the facebook pixel because it will not allow you to use this event setup tool unless you already installed your facebook pixel now as you can see we have our thank you page opened and we have this box over here opened as well so what you can do over here is you can track events based on a url or you can track that based on a button so in this case over here we have this thank you page and every single person that gets to this thank you page we know that they submitted the form on our first step of the funnel so what i would like to do is i would like to track this url as a lead submitted so let's go ahead and click on track a url and over here let's go ahead and select lead event you can also choose the value on this page if let's say it's a sales page and not a lead page so let's say you sell i don't know like a digital product for 27 dollars and here on the thank you page after the payment has been processed it says hey thank you for purchasing this 27 dollars digital product so you can actually select that number from this page or you can type in the value manually but for this example we just go ahead and not include any value and click confirm perfect so essentially now what will happen not just based on the facebook pixel but also based on your browser events is that every single person that will land on this page it will let facebook know that this is a submitted lead but be careful and make sure that nobody else has access to this page and there is no other way to get to this page unless they actually submitted the form on the first step and to finish up all we have to do is just to click on finish setup and then click finish and that's pretty much all i hope this video was helpful if it was make sure to drop a like and comment down below make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already thank you so much for watching guys and until the next one peace